All right, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I will be creating the uh, mini train stack. I've got Inventor opened up. Click new. Part inches. You create. This part is going to be created by developing half of it and then simply revolving it. All right, so I'm going to add a new sketch to my XY plane. I'll start with a line. That is the entire length of the stack, so it's 1.75. Um, it's going to go flat here. Actually, I'm going to go back to my bottom. Draw a line tool from, or use my line tool from the bottom. Coming across, again, we are looking at half of this, right? So the bottom, it's got a diameter 0.5, but I only need half of that, so I'm just going to go 0.25. Then it goes up 0.25. So I get the blueprint here. Uh, then I'm going to free draw the remaining portion. So it comes up at an angle, and it goes at an angle in this direction, and then back to here. All right, now I'll come back with my dimension tool. Um, this top ring, this ring right kind of in the middle, is 1.25. Right, that would be this point here to this point here. But I, again, I only need half of it. So I'm going to pull up my calculator. 1.25 divided by 2. And it's 0.625. So from here to here is 0.625. Right? You can see that it kind of messed up my object, but that's all right. As long as things are still purple, I can click this point and simply drag it in. Right? Once things change to black and it says fully constrained down below, then I can no longer move things. Continuing on. I'm going to place a dimension that goes from my bottom to that ring that I just created, 1.5. So from here to here, 1.5. Um, now I need to get that 15 degree angle. All right, to do that, I'm simply going to place a construction line there so that I'm able to dimension from this point to this point and get that 15. All right, so that gives me my object. Now I can hit finish sketch. Click Revolve, click my object, I want this inside edge, and click OK. You'll notice that I do have two, two holes that go through the middle, so I'm going to add a new sketch to my top. All right, then I'm going to create a circle from this point. You'll notice that my line is only going halfway, which means I'm still in radius, so I'm going to right click. Make sure it's in diameter, make sure you're seeing a line that's going across the whole thing. Uh, that size is 0.875. Print your sketch. Click extrude. This is being cut out or removed by 0.375. Alright, so my object looks like this. If I look here, I've got another hole though that is 0.375, so I'm going to do a new sketch right there with a circle tool. 0.375. Right, I'm going to finish sketch. All right, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of math to figure out what my extrusion is going to be. All right, I'm going to switch to cut. Um, I'm going to pull up my calculator here. My entire object is 1.75. Right, but I've already taken out this 0.375. Right. And then I am also a quarter inch from the bottom, so minus 0.25. So this hole going down needs to be 1.125. That leaves us then just shy of the bottom. I hit OK, and there is my train stack.